and now I sit the ramp color to here to this factor and we'll look from here and now we see a little bit more in interesting result okay so we're gonna just play around now we have something much cooler so for this part I'm gonna use just for this uh, part outside this one so I'm gonna just yeah, use um, a wood texture that I, and I'm just set that instead of 10 to 50 and we see the result a little bit better here and maybe just play around with, with those just a bit not too much even we can come here and I mean just just play around to get a little bit of grating result so here we have this one and I can add it for now as well so you see how it's fake so that's fine I think okay so about this texture as I told you we just we need to apply those first apply the solid flame modifier and grab everything in and we can just add a cube okay and if you if you have node wrangler enabled just type node and you see the node wrangler just enable that that's very useful so just enable that and here i want to change its position okay yes that's in z-axis okay so we just type 90 in z-axis and uh, just gr just grab those and drag to the dam and just type two or maybe one and half or maybe one <laughs> that's fine so from here we see that some problem we got okay so no problem we can grab uh, like 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 so or what we can do is come here to the UV editing okay and we just focus on those and just play around with with what and what we can do is come here and we just press 2 and grab this edge okay and just add a mark seam and just add mark seam okay and as well here just grab those and add mark seam here as well marks it now if, if we grab and again we go to the cube okay. so what we can do is go to the yes here so we just grab these guys okay so what we did is just give it unwrap. We first add some maximum and just give it unwrap. And from here, what I can do is grab this two, press S and S and Y. S and Y. I'm sorry, here. S and Y. 
and as well these two s and x and here and here s and x okay now we have a flatten area so just grab three go to the three because that's in phase one two three one is for point two is for edge and three for face okay uh, grab one and press L to select the other part of that and just press again U and go to the follow active quad okay now we have this cool thing okay so now what we can do is come here and just play around with those without getting any issue okay and as well here I think uh, okay as well here we're just gonna fix one part so grab go to the one press one s y and as well here s y zero and grab those two in s x zero s x zero three phase and select one and then l and now you follow active quad and we have this cool part render mode and I just press U and in this case our cube works very well you see that because of marksim everything aligned perfectly and if I turn the uh, bevel that's look very perfect so for more realism we can come here and add just tweak those for example a little bit inside and we can add another look cut and grab this one and set it right here and you got the idea okay so that it don't look uh, up in a perfect way okay just play around a little bit with those so that your art gonna look a little bit different so uh, we can add a bump map so we grab this one and set it on normal and we type a bump and set it on high and lower it the strength and we see something like this and we play around with the roughness here if you set the roughness in it in zero you're gonna see a very metallic look so perfect okay and as well here we had some some goldish color okay so for this one we can use a subsurface and you see this what subsurface 
does actually its job. So we see that on a uh, yellowish color. And from here, we have a transmission. See? We can bump it up a little bit as well. So, okay, that's fine. And we could add a subdivision, but we keep that a low poly. So we have to, so make sure that we just name that sub and we apply that in here sub as well. Okay. And for this ring, it's the same technique, just we play in with instead of surface, we play around with metallic. And base color, we see that on a yellowish color and uh, we play around or maybe a little bit of uh, metallic not all the way up okay so that it match the rest of our model because if we turn that up so it gonna look a realistic metallic not an stylized so that's it so you see that on gold and for this one here we set on the gold okay At this moment, we need an HDRI because the Blender HDRI doesn't work if I uh, take a render, so everything gonna be 
dark so here I have a sky texture and I can just play around okay I can just play around turn those off on to see the result so here is the sun just type in 10 just play around to get a very great looking result so come here and set we're gonna set our setting for rendering and just press F12 to take render you see some problem here we can fix that just enjoy so I hope you guys like that and if you like that please subscribe and turn that notification so, so that every time I'm uploading some new videos so you don't miss that so actually in, in this in the past video in the compositing what I did is that I just added a glare so that because in cycle we didn't see the glare in the render mode un unless you add the node, uh, the node glare on top of that. But in the AV, as you can see, you see the preview in render mode. So thank you very much and have a great time.